Ireland, I think, will win. How they win is immeasurably more important than the result on the battle! So yeah! And it's Samoa who get us underway and has that travel the required distance. The referee says it's knocked forward, which suggests it did require for Potalai and PC. And and it's Ave that Hooker plays with Bordeaux, winning his 14th cap. And Ireland win the penalty at the breakdown. Oh, and the goal kicking key as he takes that first opportunity as the Dragons go up in Ireland. He is there, PC. It's a strong effort from Le Malou, but Ireland's defensive line holds firm. PC, one of the Samoans, receiving attention. And the referee Number is three. going to come back. Never got to an onside position. Offside against Mike Ross is the decision of the referee. Oh, and he, to draw Samoa level, which he does with ease. Oh, fine. But right now they are struggling Set. defensively. I can't emphasize that enough. It's from fine. up here, right? They're, they're not coming off this defensive line. It's very, very staggered. Modali to BC. And again, in midfield, questions are asked this time by Johnny Liotta. Ireland competing at the breakdown. It was one thing that's gone reasonably well for Ireland in this opening quarter. It has been the breakdown. Decent contact. Does it have the direction? It does. And up go the flags for the break. They extend this five-point lead. He slipped. Peels away. Connor Murray. Little kick through. And then after it goes Tommy Bow. But it's well dealt with by Fotali. And then Tuifua and Samoa. Not surprisingly, happy to keep the ball in hand until they run out of options out wide. Carney is there. Jackson left it for him, and Rob Carney has a bit of space to run into. Lots of space. Gap opens up. Carney, terrific attack. Looks for the support. Probably the right decision to hold on. The pass was 50 50. O'Driscoll, Bo, O'Brien, McFadden. Can he finish? Fergus McFadden spins and is held up. Ireland, though, still have it. O'Driscoll down the short side. Did he get there? Yeah. Did he drive him into that, the ground? Could. The issue is that he got up, he was twisted, and he wasn't brought to ground safely. It's a yellow card. The yellow card for Samoan centre George PC. Last kick of the half is a very, very good one from Penny Jackson. And Ireland go to the changing rooms with an extra bounce in their step and an extra man for the first 10 minutes of the second half. It's been stop-start, it's been bubbling rather than boiling the half-time score. Ireland 14, Samoa 6. But overall, it's fair to say it hasn't been great, or it hasn't even been good. What can they do from here? And Samoa, well, they will feel if they can survive the next 10 minutes, you think, without conceding significant points that they are still very much in the hunt and Sean O'Brien and O'Mahony has his hands on the ball and Darcy changes direction it's good work from Ireland Paddy Jackson has a look up there's big empty spaces back there and there's three Irishmen charging down and if the bounce goes their way there could be a try and a wonderful skill O'Driscoll to McFadden what a wonderful piece of improvisation and Ireland still have the ball and they have numbers and they must execute the Sean O'Brien does execute further two which he does the flags go up a minute or two left to 15 against 14 and that's the sort of thing you have to do at this level when you have that advantage is take advantage or he best then red and it was a difficult one for Darcy to deal with don't think he knocked it forward came off the boot and chance for Samoa maybe something unstructured can they find a gap they can through Botali uh, that's a terrific offload to Leoa Lost! ball in the hands of Otto and he's away the substitute does really well look like a cul-de-sac somehow he find an exit and Samoa charge into the Irish half advantage being played it's a Big hit on Paul O'Connell with the big body of Takori blasting over him. The ball kept in hand. Johnson showing his own little set of skills, but it doesn't come off. And Dave Carney for a moment thought he was away. Struck it okay. And the flags 
go up and Samoa reduce the gap slightly right over on the touchline and his opposite number hasn't quite made the journey with him as he slipped digs it out and McFadden finds a way and he weaves his way around to lovely offloads Darcy O'Driscoll there Darcy continues Gordon Darcy is Sean O'Brien and he slipped and on they go and where's the ball Redden goes looking for it but Ali he gets himself in the way but Ireland eventually get it and it's taken on by Healy and Ireland very close to try number three O'Driscoll Carney Carney You may have run to try. Quartet involved. Jackson. Oh, terrific kick. Terrific support was there to set it up. And create out wide for Dave Carney. Rob Carney with the final pass. And a turn. Set. This guy. Redden's feet. Control by Heaslip. Pick. Pop and Redden goes the other way. Here's Jackson and Darcy and Gordon Darcy pops it off and McFadden gets in. Fergus McFadden. As his hallmark and he deserves that try big time. Timing of the kicks seems easy. Picked up from Paolo and Sean O'Brien makes the tackle and then goes in search of the ball and has he turned it over O'Brien he has and here's Ian Madigan and he's got space in front of him Madigan looks to attack and breaks away through two eventually put to ground dug out by Redden who steps back inside Dave Carney he's got Rob Carney outside and Redden back inside Dave Carney has Rob Carney Carney back inside Redden Darcy's on his shoulder Well, look, just look at the number of green shirts in supporting positions. I could get five there onto two. Anyone could have scored in the end. And as it is, Dave Carney in for a second try. Well, I think Jack McGrath has had a day to remember in terms of his performance for the hour he was on. Jack McGrath is the RTE Guinness Man of the Match. Day for him to remember also as we head over and finish the 80 and Ireland can reflect on a job reasonably well done.